So, in a fatal accident in uh, Gumwampota on the Kaswa Winneba Highway, uh, an accident has claimed several lives. And uh, it happened when a Sprinter Benz bus rammed into a Toyota Corolla. The dead have been sent to the mall, but Richard Kojunyako has reported that many, including a three year old boy, are battling for their lives. We want to learn more about this, and Central Regional Correspondent Richard Kojunyako joins us on the phone lines with more information. Kojo, thank you for your time. Bring us up to speed on the latest. Seven dead. What's the status of those who are injured? Well, um, there were some broken uh, limbs. Others who had a lot of fracture, especially the three-year-old boy, I'm told by doctors here at the Wilbur Trauma and Specialist um, Center that uh, he had a lot of uh, fracture in the head and um, he, was un he was unconscious and they couldn't find the parent. And so the deduction is that the parent, either the parent might have been part of the injured people or uh, the parent might be part of the people that are dead now. As we speak now, this morning, when I contacted them, they said that uh, the others were doing relatively good, but the three-year-old boy uh, was yet to recover. But uh, as of the time I spoke with uh, the doctor, um, the, the child, the three-year-old boy, had not been sent to the 37 military hospital. That was the representation the doctor made that um, yesterday when they were brought in, they wanted an ambulance to transfer uh, the injured to the 37 military hospital and they had no ambulance. And so uh, when there was no ambulance, they contacted the National Ambulance uh, Service, but they were not successful. And so the mm. boy had to be kept there. So I do not know now whether um, in the morning when reports um, were made, um, the little boy had been transferred to uh, the 37 military hospital for some medical, uh, critical medical care. Right. So from your description, this, this child, three-year-old child, simply needs to be transported to Accra for the right treatment, uh, but they're unable to do so. Yes, exactly, because, I mean, the doctor laments um, how sometimes they are unable to get accidents, you know, the Cape Coast, uh, Winneba, uh, Accra Highway is um, that kind of stretch that has a lot of accident. And I think that that was uh, one of the, um, the, the reasons why that specialist and trauma uh, center was even uh, cited and established there. And so sometimes they, they, they find it very difficult to get an ambulance to transfer some people that need some critical um, emergency or some critical attention uh, to be attended to them in a bigger hospital that has the facility to take care of these people. Mm. Um, uh, fractures to the skull, that sounds very serious, especially for a three-year-old child. Is there a timeline here? Is the doctor working against the clock? Are they concerned that if they're not able to get him uh, to the right facility in time, that he may lose his life? Yes, so um, the doctor said that uh, except for the child, all of them were doing good, but he was worried yes uh, last night he was worried for the three-year-old boy because when they were unsuccessful with the attempt to get an ambulance to convey the child there he said that the guy the, the boy was um, unconscious it means that they needed to work on him as soon as possible but here they were uh, there was no ambulance and so that is why the doctor was lamenting and says that well uh, they needed to get to the ambulance secretary i don't know whether when we left there, they were successful with the attempt to get the ambulance. And by this time, maybe uh, they might have sent the child to uh, the appropriate place uh, for him to receive the needed attention. Mm. Uh, thank you for the update, uh, Richard Kojinyako. We'll come back to you for more as soon as we can. But clearly, this story raises a number of important questions. And no doubt, uh, Ghana has a, a serious lack of ambulances, but it also raises the issue of prioritization. Um, we saw just the day before when the Deputy Minister for Communication had an accident that he was airlifted out of the central region to Accra where he's receiving treatment and thankfully responding well to it. Um, but the question is that if we're able to do that for, our, for a Deputy Minister, what's the explanation for the reason why we can't do that for a three-year-old child who is battling for his life in Winneba? Uh, it doesn't need to be a helicopter, uh, an ambulance will do. Uh, why does this child continue to battle for his life when we are able to prioritize emergency transportation for those who we think uh, are worth it?
Uh, let's uh, very quickly get straight on with our next segment. While we continue to, to attempt to reach uh, those in charge, the National Ambulance Service and uh, others who can explain to us why this three-year-old boy is battling for his life in the wrong town uh, when all, he need, all that he needs is to be transported to Accra. We will get you answers to that question and others. But right now, coming up is a conversation on Cotbet and their national competition. <laughs> 